this world has been connected. And now darkness within darkness awaits you. In the end, every heart returns to the darkness whence it came. everybody and welcome to the Anson Report Podcast! This is episode number 37 of season 2 of the longest running Kingdom Hearts podcast in the world. My name is Mike and with me as always is my brother, the very sexual, the very toy, Jason. Hello Jason. Hey guys. Hi guys. It's me. Uh, it be me. As you know, I'm the busy one and Jason's the one who doesn't do anything and we're here. That's true. Uh, to bring you episode number 37 of the Longest Running Kingdom Hearts podcast, Podcast of Champions, by the way, those damn podcasters, all the other shit I usually say. Uh, before, uh, the, the, our first item of business, Jay, we have a big announcement, but we're not going to do the big announcement yet. Or maybe we should. Mm. It's not like a great announcement, right? It's not like, it's not, oh, it's I not can't like wait a- for the... It's not like a good announcement. It's like a... <laughs> it's not, it's not like, it's not like, oh, I, uh... It's going to be so pog, this announcement. But it is an announcement, and it is a big announcement. It is. It is, it is big. But now that I said that, I kind of want to make everybody size, wait. Even. I, I kind of want to make everybody wait. <laughs> Disclaimer, it, not a good it, announcement. Now you now you have anxiety for the rest yeah, of the episode. Exactly, exactly. You're welcome. We got your ass. And you're got manually your breathing, and you're manually blinking right now. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> not manually. <laughs> not manually. Uh, before we get into the podcast, I just want to say thank you to everybody uh, for bearing with us last week when we didn't have an episode, even though I didn't announce anything. I didn't no say we're anything. not going to have an episode. I, and no one said no anything. No one even blinked? It was like you guys didn't even care that the podcast no didn't happen. But yeah, as as you guys know, I'm very busy and Jason's not. And so True. I couldn't do the podcast last week. I showed uh, up to record. Mike wasn't there. I was just like, yeah. Look, I was looking around. I was lost. Yeah, he he was like the John Travolta meme. Where he, yeah, you know, looking around, just looking uh, back and forth. But last week we actually had some Kingdom Hearts news, Jason. Believe it or not, and that is, and it's hype. It's hype. It's hype news. I'm actually listening to uh, a song right now, a walk in and Dante, because that's the song that comes after it began with a letter, and I didn't hit. Uh, mm. I didn't hit repeat. Uh, but the mm. Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix soundtrack and the KH, H, Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix soundtrack are on Spotify now to join Kingdom Hearts 3 soundtrack. Thank uh, God, Which dude. is Finally. huge, what the hell? huge news, huge but true. The only thing is, some of it's not, some of, it's, it's tough because I'm looking at the 1.5 Remix and it definitely has some 358 over 2 stuff on it, right? Yeah. Right. And then if you're looking at 2.5, it has, uh, I'm looking, I'm looking. It has some like, uh, no, it doesn't have anything extra. It's just the two. It, it, it's just the soundtrack from two. So there's no BBS. There's no DDD here. Man. No, no recoded even. Wait. Which is a little disappointing because some of those some of that music is bangerific, no and I don't bugs. see them. 
I don't see them just doing that on its own, right? Yeah, so that's probably never happening. That's probably never happening, because KH3 had some Union Cross stuff on it, right? Yeah. Yeah, and it had, like, the 0.2 Ray of Hope mix. But, yeah, uh, I don't I don't see them saying, hey, we released the BBS and DDD soundtracks, right? Yeah. That would just be a little strange. So that is kind of a bummer. Overall, not a bummer, because now, instead of, like, going to, like, a shitty YouTube playlist, you can just go right on Spotify and, and listen to these songs. Yeah, and I, I, like, I get why it took forever, right? Because it's, like... You know, while a lot of it is made and and mostly is made by Yoko, there's still like Utada. Then there's like the royalties for like you know Disney, so like literally just like this is Halloween or like literally just the Winnie the Pooh song. You know, like uh, there there's a lot that's just a lot of hoops you'd have to jump through in order to get it to be on Spotify and Tarzan make money and stuff. You know, like. Even if Yoko is whipping up most of it, there's still a couple of things that, you know. Hey, uh, well, here's the... Th- I can actually, understand why it took time, you know. Cause, I'm, cause I'm scrolling it's also, right now, Jay. It's also years old stuff, you know. Okay, yeah, This Is Halloween's on there. I didn't see This Is Halloween at first, but it is credited to Danny Elfman here. Right, right. Who wrote that original song, so. Interesting. But yeah, there's definitely some hoops they had to jump through to get this on here, but I'm glad they did finally... For sure. Um, Kingdom Hearts fans rejoice. It's it's exciting. It's it's big news. If you have a Spotify account, go listen to this shit. Even though they make pennies on on the listen. Not even. Halves of pennies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like a 0.0001 of a penny, which is already yeah. 0.01. <laughs> I've probably made Yoko $10 on It Began With a Letter. Dude, honestly, I, uh, yeah, I've listened to it a billion times. Right. Made Yoko some big dollars. We're going to keep doing it. Honestly, like, I'm pretty sure every single episode I listened to it began with a letter, right? Yeah. Obviously, we cut stuff out of the podcast, but I don't know. Like, I wonder how long, like, do, if I could, like, do the math, go through how long every episode is. And then this, figure out how long I've listened. Like, how many times have I listened to it again with the letter? This seems like a very fruitless endeavor that you're going <laughs> to put yourself through. I, I, I might really have understand. to, though. I might have to, though. Yeah, I don't know that you do. I think you could just leave that one alone. <laughs> I, I, I really I think that. Know. Like, I want to know. It might be a curiosity kill the cat moment. Like, I might want to die after figuring it out. But it might be worth it. Just it to go be. 347. <laughs> yeah i made yoko five dollars and fifty cents <laughs> over four years <laughs> anyway so go check that stuff out that's that's big kingdom hearts news in not kingdom hearts news but us news it's <gasps> time for uh tamagotcha and we have a brand new stinger courtesy of our friend Aphoraxis. so i'll say it's time for tamagotcha again so i can play the stinger boom Bum, ba-dum, ba-dum, bum, bum. Jesus got nothing to do, and Mike's just always busy. Now what we're going to do is talk about Tamagotchi, Tamagotchi, Tamagotchi. Thank you, Aphoraxis, for uh, the stinger. Jason, you'll just have to imagine it. What? Uh, but as you can, as you guys heard, I'm very busy and Jason does nothing. What the uh, heck? Do you, you want to go first, Jay? You go first. I feel like yours is more interesting. <laughs> All right, dude. So, you know, we talked about how this shit died like three times. Okay, okay, well, okay. First off, we need to talk about the fact that clearly neither of us knew that regardless of how good you do, the shit just resets after a week. Like, Yeah, I didn't know that. I clearly I always assumed that it was just like you know if you kept it alive you kept it alive if you met the requirements to it for it to evolve then it would evolve but like you'd have to like you know like I, I assumed you could reset it right like if I get stuck I thought at it was Lion like a Digimon. Simba yeah yeah I figured like oh you get stuck at Lion Simba there's like no way for it to evolve unless you like kill it basically right but right 
anyway, so clearly we didn't know that, right? Well, clearly. I wanted to try... When Mike said that you could get a dark side, I was like, okay, I kind of want to get a dark side. So first off, I treated it like shit, right? Like, I fed <laughs> it like some ice cream, but I was like, I'm not going to feed it no pow poo fruits. Like, I, I kind of want it to just, like, go into heartless mode, right? Like, I would... I didn't want it to die, die. So, like, when it would do, like, the battle encounters or whatever, I would do those. And then I got it to Heartless. But I don't know, like, how to make it go to a dark side. So I would, like, feed it and, like, treat it good. But, like, I don't know. I kind of assumed that you shouldn't, you, sh like, still shouldn't play games with it. Because... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't yeah, think the wiki not, says how to do it. I I'm not sure. So I didn't play any games with it. So I, I, I think you need to once it's a Heartless. Because I, like, fed it and, like, kept it alive and everything. And then, like, one of the times when I was, like, using it, it just did the gummy ship thing, which, like, ends it, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, like, it's just one of the endings. Like, I, I, it, wasn't, it wasn't the Kyrie ending. Like, it was just the gummy ship one. So I don't know if it just died or it was just like, oh, it's been a week now. Like go next so i failed in making it a dark side so then i tried again right so i'm like okay gotta get it back into a heartless and then i just fucking forgot about it so it fucking died <laughs> <laughs> I, I just picked it up right i picked it up right before we started recording because mike was talking about it and i said oh mine just fucking died <laughs> that fucking that little gummy ship just took him up out into outer space where we can frolic with the other Sora Heartlesses <laughs> that you've killed on the farm. <laughs> I re uh, the last I left off, I'd left mine at work and I retrieved it on that Wednesday and reset it there. And that was, that was a big mistake uh, because I'm at work. I should have waited. I got home to reset it because yeah. I did not treat it very well at work. Uh, I brought it home. <laughs> Uh, and Tara hates the Tamagotchi. She does. She Tara hates absolutely <laughs> hates the Tamagotchi. She will like, I'll be like, I, I don't know. I, I could be doing anything. I could be like at a funeral. <laughs> grieving one of my loved ones. And Tara would call me and go, the Tamagotchi's making noise again. <laughs> Tara hates the Tamagotchi. Okay. So then I was forced to put it downstairs. And then, you know, I'm so busy, you guys. Like, as you guys know, I, <laughs> I'm so busy. Uh, and I just, you know, I didn't have time to come downstairs, and so I forgot about it. And so it was, it was, it was a heartless again. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. As to be expected when you treat it poorly. And then <laughs> uh, a couple days ago... Kyrie revived me into Sora, and then Sora flew off in the gummy ship like like normal. Mm. And then I just I have not reset it since. <laughs> it's, it's just been, been sitting. sitting it's just been sitting on the heart, the Kingdom Hearts logo. <laughs> uh, dude, it's so funny because I just remember before we got him, we we're like, dude, this is gonna be so sick, dude. Like we'll be able to you know talk about like how we evolved it and everything because there's a ton of different evolutions <laughs> i got like kingdom hearts 2 sora I, maybe i literally need to take a week off from my job just to <laughs> do this tamagotchi bro Even like that, I dude, lit it's like you probably just be streaming and <laughs> letting right. it down like, oh fuck fuck the dude, trap you know the what tamagotchi, we need to do fuck. you know what we need to do on stream, we need to have where you could spend channel points to check on the Tamagotchi. Yeah, that's true. We need that. That's a good we idea. We definitely need that. That's a great idea. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Maybe it, it plays I need the to reset stinger. him. Yeah. Oh, that'd be fun if it played the stinger. Uh, so that that's it for Tamagotchi. Uh, now Aphroxus has a 1940s version of the stinger. <laughs> Thank you, Aphroxus, for the 1940s version of the stinger. <laughs> uh, I don't think Jason's heard that one. I it's it's the same. It's the same, but it's like a <laughs> 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 
Dude, I love those. I fucking love those. Dude, I, I also like Mike goated. doing 1940s stuff. Too. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's that's Tamagotcha. Th- thank you guys for... <laughs> If Mike was a dream eater, he would turn into one of the frog boys. Because, okay, like, the frog boys are the best, right? Like, let's be real. Right. And, but he sure. would be, like, a 1940s, like, singing one, you know? Like the WB <laughs> frog? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello, my baby. Hello, my body. Hello, my ragtime gal. Uh, that would be Mike as a dream eater. I got to tell you, though, I'm a little disappointed and I'm that I would not jealous. That I wouldn't be Pog Mini Greg. Mm-hmm. Because I do love Pog Mini Greg. I, I, I miss Pog Mini Greg, dude. I miss him dude, too. We need to bring need him to back. Play DDD again, dude. Everyone Can't hates DDD, another... but it's good. Okay. Can we play another game where we can just name somebody Pog Mini no, Greg? Absolutely not. Like maybe a Pokemon? No. Okay. Okay. May, maybe, Sorry, guys. maybe maybe Pokemon. I don't, I don't know. Maybe Pokemon. Maybe like a Mareep or something. You know. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, what's the W- woolly or whatever i don't know yeah, the one that hop has what's what a yeah I don't, I don't know i just remember everyone was obsessed with it when they showed it yeah fuck hop though what a terrible yeah. rival <laughs> hop's dog shit hop's an absolute um, dog shit I, i'd much rather my rival be like one of the ones where they like stole their pokemon you know like they, right. they, even those guys were better than hop <laughs> right hop's just <sighs> Ugh. anyway hop's this useless. isn't a pokemon podcast <laughs> This is Richard Epcar. Welcome to the Ansem Report podcast. Come to the darkness. So I guess we have one more topic today. Since we didn't we didn't do a question a week last week. So before we get into the topic, I will say thank you to everybody so far who has gone and given us their suggestion for the March Caprice uh, question of the month. There's some good ones in here. I think we need a few more. Yeah. So, so if, you if you haven't answered yet, please go in and give us what you think is the most cringe line of dialogue in the Kingdom Hearts series. Um, there's some. There's definitely some ones that you guys have missed. I will tell you. There's some cringe stuff that you guys have not said yet. So, please get it in there. Even if you've already if you've already contributed one, I'm fine with you contributing another. Please and thank you. Uh, and we will we will make that tier list for March Caprice. But we just need a few more there. And I appreciate everybody who's done it so far. So let me let me think of the best way to say this. So here's the big news. Here's the big news. As you guys know, I'm very busy. Uh, <laughs> I can't say that without laughing because it's become such a meme, dude. But it's uh, true. It's true. It's also true. Uh, my job is a, a bit of a beast, this, especially this time of year. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Mike's in charge of the beasts, you know? He I'm runs in charge. The I'm, I'm behind the, the ground. Wheel. It burned to the ground without Mike. It's true. I'm behind the wheel of the beast. You know, I'm driving. But then I'm also, you know, putting other people in spots of the beast. Basically, I do everything in the beast, okay? I have help, but I do everything in the beast. And so... The beast. Um, the beast really ramps up I- February, March, and April, especially the first week of April, right? Um, it's crazy. And I think... Yeah. Did, did we... Didn't we take a... A bit of a... I don't want to use the H word, but didn't we, didn't we take a bit of a, a break... Around this time last year, I feel like we normally at least miss one week because Hold of on, it. Let me look. At the let very least, we we probably end up missing one in March as well, just like during the ramp up. Let me look. I can. I look. know we've like pre-recorded before, where like we had one that we recorded before it in order for it to play. Like one of the maybe we did like an interview or something. I can't remember. Right. Like when I worked when I worked at the Beast. Jason used to work at the Beast. I, I would work like 70 hours that week. You know, like, it, 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 it was crazy. Oh, we definitely, we definitely took a break. I can't exactly tell, but we definitely took a break at some point. So here's the deal, you guys. Uh, if you haven't guessed, we are going to be taking a bit of a break from the Ansem Report podcast. We're not breaking up. It's We're just not a breaking break. up. It's not a okay. hiatus. I didn't want to use the H word. It's not oh, a hiatus. No. Now you said it. Now you said it. Now you got it in their head. Uh, it's more like a bye atus because <laughs> we're saying <laughs> goodbye forever. No, not forever. What? Uh, so here's the deal. We, we are still the longest running Kingdom Hearts podcast. We will always be the longest running Kingdom Hearts podcast. I will literally be 90 years old sitting in front of this microphone going, question of the week. That's... That is my uh, my pledge to you guys, but we <laughs> just start dying. 
and literally die on <laughs> on the mic. Literally dying. Literally uh, going to quadratum on mic. Uh, <laughs> there, there are four right now in my life, and this has uh, changed throughout my life, but there are four like big main pillars in my life, right? Mm-hmm. As far as like what takes up your time, you know? What takes up my time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. They're my lovely girlfriend, Tara, who I love spending time with, and we own a house together, and we work on the house together, and we do all kinds of things together. Um, that is a very important pillar in my life. There's my job, which I do enjoy my job most of the time. It also is, a, you know, I, I need money to do the things that I do and to own my house and to make sure I have food and make sure Tara has food. And so that, that's a big, another big pillar in my life. But I also enjoy it. I also enjoy a lot of aspects of my job. It's not just something I do for money, but it does pay me pretty well. And so it's pretty important. There is uh, streaming which um, is something that's very important to me. And it's quite, uh, some of you might say, well, the podcast and streaming are like the same thing, but it's not to me. They're very different. Not um, exactly, yeah. Outlets, uh, obviously sometimes they cross over, but to me streaming's more about hanging out with you guys, my friends. Yeah, connecting the with stream the And my hanging out with my brother. Like, yeah, those yeah. are the you know, two big things that are, are a big part of streaming. And then there's the podcast, which is also about hanging out with you, but it's also about this um with, with, without uh the podcast the streaming thing doesn't probably exist right right um, right they're they're connected so all, all they're of connected. it is all connected you know it's all like, connected right yeah right yeah. you know if i spend more time streaming than normal a lot of times that cuts into hanging out with tara or it will cut into my job and then my job yeah. will be like wait you weren't you weren't here enough what's going on you know and so there's there's this balance i've been trying to when when we say Mike's really busy, there's a balance of me trying to juggle these things. It's not that yeah, it it uh it, it, it and it's tough sometimes. It's it's a bit uh it can be a bit exhausting for sure. And sometimes it really hurts. Uh, it just can put like a my, strain on the other things, you know, like right, right. It can put a strain on the other things, and it really hurts my enthusiasm for doing a lot of things. Because there's other things I want to do too. Like I, I've always wanted to make long form YouTube content, and I just never, never have had the time. Or I'll get an idea and I'll start working on it, and then like a month into the idea, slowly picking away at it, I go, "This is a dumb idea. I don't want to do this anymore." So like, it, it it's tough. There's a lot of things I want to do right now. Looking at these four pillars, right, um. You know, obviously, I'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna break up with Tara. Uh, yeah, no, uh, no. Obviously, not really, I'm not no. gonna. I, I can't afford to quit my job. <laughs> no, no, can't do that. And so, right now, when you look at it, you go, okay, there's just not a lot of Kingdom Hearts stuff going on. Right. You got the right? podcast, and you got the stream. And we are we are fully capable. We've lit. proven we could do it. We've yeah. proven <laughs> we are fully capable of doing this podcast when there's no Kingdom Hearts news, right? Yeah, we have proven we we I, I don't want to toot our own horn, but I'm going to toot toot for a second because I think we put on some pretty damn good shows in the last month or so that literally there was, you know, yeah, there was some missing link news and stuff, but there was literally like not a whole lot there, you know, not a whole yeah. lot of substance. We're, we're, we're stretching things. We're, we're coming up with better ideas. We're doing. Um, but the problem is when there's not that news. The podcast takes a lot more time to do and plan. I know a lot of times we like seem we're like we're going off the cuff, and we are sometimes, but sometimes it's like I, I walk into the to my room and I sit down and I know we're going to record the podcast and I go well, I don't know what the fuck to do. Um, yeah, and that's very. Although we pull it off a lot of the time, it's very stressful for me. Like once we get into it, it's one thing, but like when when it's just like kind of on your mind, it can just be like right. taxing to know. That and that's like, kind of uh, what happened last week. Is yeah. I um just mentally could not do it i would rather say hey there, this is this time period where we're not going to do the ansom report podcast then put myself through that and then possibly let you guys down by going oh there was going to be an episode this week but now there's not yeah if that makes sense like basically what happened we're, we're looking at like the the patch notes for mike right now and and work work just got buffed right and like yeah, he's only got, got he's hard. only got he's only got four dollars right Thank and you for work, putting this in gamer speak for everybody. Work costs two dollars right now. It used to cost one dollar. Now it costs two. Or I, I'll, I'll even just say energy. All right, if we're gonna fully yeah, gamify yeah, yeah. it, we're, Marvel yeah. snapped this shit. Uh -huh. It got, it got, I guess, nerfed then, right? Like, 
<laughs> but anyway, work used to cost one dollar. Right now, for the next like month and a half, shit costs two, maybe three even, maybe even three. But we only got like four dollars. Okay, we're broke yeah. as shit. <laughs> yeah, we only got and Tara costs one dollar, and then the stream and the podcast <laughs> both cost a dollar. We only got one dollar. <laughs> we only got a dollar left. I'm sorry, an energy. She costs one, one energy. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, what I'm trying to say is we only got one more energy. So for the time being, until work gets nerfed, we got to We got to drop one temporarily. Right. And that's not to say that there's not going to be a single episode in the next month and a half. We still want to do like, you know, the, the March Caprice live show. We're still, know? we're still definitely going to do the March Caprice uh, show that we signed up for that we talked about. We're going to do that. But there's a possibility that between now, uh, which, what is this, February 17th, the day this drops? Yeah, that's yeah. The Friday? February, between now, February 17th, and um, Probably like March, the second whether it's 24th or 25th, <laughs> whatever, whatever March Caprice is, there's a good yeah, chance between yeah. now and then that there will not be one single episode of the Answer Report podcast um, up until that March Caprice episode. Which in reality is like oh. four episodes. <laughs> like it's, it's not. It might feel like a lot. It's it's only four episodes being missed, quote unquote. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that that would be, that's like five weeks away, and I don't know. I can't tell you that it will be on that Friday. It depends on which March Caprice gives us, whether it's the twenty fourth, twenty fifth, or twenty sixth. Um, but it will be that weekend. Uh, we 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 will still do that, and then, like Jason s- just was alluding to. My my uh, work still costs two energy until about uh, till about Easter, so yeah. which is April 9th. So I, I'm hoping that we'll have our triumphant return return on the 14th of April. That could change. I, that that's our plan. Um, yeah. Is you guys will see us at March Caprice, and then the 14th of April, we'll we'll be there. Um, to re- to return return. Um. We're still going to stream during this time, though, when we can, yeah. is, the, is the idea. Yeah, that's so it's not the like thing. we're saying Cause, cause I, peace I out could to continue, the internet, you know? <laughs> we could continue to do the podcast and stream and, and, and not stream instead. Yeah. Um, that's not something I wanted to do because, like I said, Kingdom Hearts, the well right now is very dry. It's very... Sure. Um, it's like opportunity cost right now, you know? like Right. And, I, you know, so we'll still be around. Uh, and And, you know, there is the caveat that in two weeks, no mirror comes out and says Kingdom Hearts Four comes out April fourth. You know what I mean? And then not we that don't that would happen that week, and we would just do the podcast that well, week. Well, we would, you know? <laughs> yeah, we would definitely. If there's some major Kingdom Hearts news, we will do a podcast. You know what I mean? So right. we're not like disappearing. Uh, we're just there's just not going to be an answer. And I know that sucks because I, I yeah, I know a lot of you um look forward to listening to us uh every every week and do uh, we do. And I really appreciate you guys. And mm. it pains me to have to make this decision. But I would rather just rip the Band-Aid off now and say, hey, this is going to happen. Yeah. And, like, limp limp my way through <laughs> um, yeah. the next five episodes and and not give you guys uh, what, in my opinion, would be high-quality podcasting content. Right? Right, right. Um, and the, or just you, having it where it's like, oh, sorry, no episode of Grand this week. Uh, sorry again, no episode. But what I what I am gonna tell you guys is um what this hopefully is going to do, um outside of give me some more time to 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 stream and to to work and to spend time with Tara is there is gonna be some other time that maybe isn't full like podcast time. But um there's some things I've wanted to do to kind of upgrade the podcast, um for a long time. And I'm not making any promises, but. I, I do plan on going back to previous episodes and like at least on YouTube, like adding in channel markers and um, maybe updating some thumbnails and just doing some like weird shit that like you don't think about. And yeah, as that, like, a like listener, you can't yeah. just you can, as, as a listener and you can't just like I can't just drop everything and do, you know, but maybe mm-hmm. I'll have some spare time to do those things. That That's one good thing that could come of this. Another good thing is that. You know, I'm going to spend a lot of time thinking about this podcast because I, I will miss it uh, during sure. this, you know, five week period or, or whatever it is. And maybe we'll come up with some fresh ideas for segments and things we can do on the podcast when we come back. So and then we'll be back triumphantly. Right. In, in, in conclusion, this is not uh, 
this is not farewell. This is not goodbye. This is see you soon. Yeah, yeah. I e- even so, I'm still ve- I, like I, I. This is not a decision that we made lightly. Yeah, I, I, I'm very sad about it. Uh, eh, but like I said, th- th- we're not going anywhere in a in a permanent sense. No, uh, yeah. it's just just going to be a small still time. Be period. on Twitch, Super Spy Getty Bros. You can come say hi, uh, and maybe you know if you if you still need to get your cage fix, we. Who knows? We might we might be playing Cage. We might be playing Final Fantasy. We might be playing. You know, we could still you know scratch that itch and, and talk live. You know, um, right, right. But definitely, it'll just be for a couple weeks. You won't have you know your shit you listen to at work that you know makes you bust out laughing in the middle of work. Um, but then we'll be back. Now just make it you know the the distance makes the the heart grow fonder. You know, type shit. You mm-hmm. know, right. So, and then we'll be back. God. Feel free in that time to revisit some bangers, you know? Maybe, maybe. True. And, yeah, maybe uh, maybe you're like, oh, I really, I, I want to go back to season one. Now's the time, dude. Now's the right. time to go back and listen to episode one and be like, wow, tell this us is cringe. cringe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Is, exactly, Sean. <laughs> tell us for cringe, Sean. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, uh, so that's that's kind of the. I feel like I should be playing like Roxas's theme in the background while we're saying all this. <laughs> me, 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 me. No. Um, <laughs> who will I have ice cream what? with? Uh, who will I listen to podcasts with? Yeah, like I said, we'll still be around, guys. We're not. This isn't the end of the podcast. This is just uh, not even. Yeah. Yeah, not even close. Nice try, uh, Kingdom Hearts Union. We're still coming for that ass. <laughs> all right. We're like, whew. How'd you hear the longest running Kingdom Hearts podcast is done with? Yeah, no, not a chance. <laughs> not a chance. We're still coming for the, that ass. Still coming for that ass. <laughs> but yeah, I guess I don't, I don't know. Is there anything else we need to say about it? I, I don't, I don't, th- I don't think so. Uh, I mean, yeah, we're, we're just, you know, patch notes came out. We're cost to energy, bro. Uh, just this one. Hey, I know. I know, man. It's sucks. It sucks. Nerf the you know, shit. And uh, an- another thing I didn't mention as well that I just thought of that um, we talked about as well is this might help us get caught up on some of the Patreon stuff we were doing anyway because maybe when and we do have do, time. Yeah. 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 Maybe when we have time, we can finish uh, 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 Final season doing myself one. Season 1. Yeah, so um, I can actually release yeah. it. Yeah. Hmm. Right, hmm. exactly. Hmm. And put it out on YouTube for everybody and then start Season 2 because, I mean, Ant-Man... Ant Man's coming out today, the day you guys are listening to this. Oh, true! What the hell? I oh know, I know. And then they just they just posted or they Time just really uh, the Super stop, Bowl. Bro. The Super Bowl just had the ad for Guardians, which is on May fifth, my birthday. So what um, the? I know, dude. It's all happening so fast. My world is uh, collapsing around me. Everything's costing it, too energy, bro. What is happening? All, <laughs> all these video games are coming out. Like, just we're, kidding. I don't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. Jay has like Jay's been stockpiling energy for years. Yeah. Yeah. Just, They're not ready. Just, when I it cash doesn't this even shit it in. doesn't even it doesn't even carry over though. He doesn't get no. it. It doesn't carry over like that. No. He's just been wasting energy for years. No. Um, there's a lot of good video games coming out, you know? So there's a lot going on that we need to like we're we're uh theater theater rhythm. You, th- this is already in the past for you people that aren't on Patreon, but we we streamed theater rhythm all day on Thursday. True. Go watch the vod. It, it was or whatever. probably a I banger. I, I don't know. It was probably a really good stream. Honestly, I'm so excited for that game. Uh, I am too. I am too. I wish Melody of Memory was that game. <sighs> well, same excited. company, Indie Zero made it, dude. The same developer. Well, and I I liked the theater rhythm on the on the DS. It's just like. Am I really breaking out my DS? You know, like. right? No, this is this is so much better, dude. So much better. <laughs> but yeah, there's so there's a lot of cool games coming out that aren't Kingdom Hearts related, and we want to cover and uh, the Final Fantasy Pixel remasters. The Final Fantasy 16 comes out in June. Wow, and wow, wow! I know, dude. Breath of the Tears of the 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 Bingdom, Beers yeah. of the Bingdom, yeah, comes out. All in these May. games that seem like they were like Redfall. an infinite amount of time away, right? Starfield apparently at some point. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. 
Starfield. That's hilarious. In conclusion, thank you for all you guys do. We will return. The Ansem Report podcast will return in Avengers Endgame. Um, and yeah, I, I love you all. I, 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 I know this is a shorter pod, and I'm sorry to leave you guys on a shorter note, but this is all we really had planned for this week because we didn't do a question of the week. And who knows? Maybe, maybe when we come back after March Caprice, we'll have a brand new segment. Ooh. That's not the question of the week. No, it'll be the question of the week. What the fuck? I mean, yeah, kids? they'll still be there. Yeah. Yeah, they'll still be there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, check us out, twitch.tv slash super spaghetti bros. Email us at ansom report podcast at gmail.com. Leave us a review on Spotify or uh, on Apple Podcasts or Google Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts. Um, let me shout out uh, our uh, if you want a podcast to listen to in the interim. Interim. Uh, I want to shout out our friends, the Choco Bros. I don't think we shouted them out on the podcast yet. Mm. Uh, we talked about it on a stream, but um, SB, Swarles, and Iron Aggro, three, three uh, lovely boys from our community have uh, struck out themselves to create a podcast where they are playing through every Final Fantasy game. They've started, they sh- they're streaming them as well. So they're still playing Final Fantasy 1. They only have their intro they episode just, up. but They just beat it. Yeah. They just beat it. Okay. See, I, yeah, I've been watching the VODs. It. I haven't been able to catch the streams. I've been watching the VODs. But, but yeah, they're, they're, they're good boys and they're going to talk about uh, Final Fantasy games. And so go check out Choco Bros. Also, I believe. I don't know the exact release date, but I believe the Union Cross fan dub is out on Deimos' channel now. By the time this is out, I think so. By the time this is out, which uh, features a bit of voice acting from (laughs) yours truly. What? Uh, Me me and Jason. in it? Wait, I'm in it? Me and Jason have very small bit roles along with people like uh, regular Pat. Dude, okay, but what Water you need cage. to know, what you need to know is that in one of the star roles is Emmy Luna. That's true. And Shout you, out to Emmy. And Emmy kills it, okay? Damo's been editing it on stream. Emmy kills it, dude. So yep. you need to go. Just to just to yeah. hear they got some quality voice actors for this, dude. It's such it a did. big project. I'm very excited. It's there's a possibility that at some point you and I might stream watching it. Yeah, yeah. I think that'd be fun, especially when our cameo comes up and we go, yo, and then we shut it off. Yeah, yeah. Because we, we saw we our did it. cameo. We did it. We did it. I want you, uh, I'm not going to tell you guys it. what we do, uh, but see if you can see if you can hear us in the fan dub. I feel like there's see, no see. way you can't. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's not like we dude, did some weird voice or anything. Mine, mine was like, oh my God, dude, because I, I still didn't have this mic set up. It was catching my S's so bad, dude. It was yeah. it was rough hearing that shit. But Mike did his wizardry. Demo did his wizardry. I'm sure it sounds fine, dude. But yeah, it, it, it's <laughs> it's I I fixed it, so it's fine. Uh, but yeah, see if see if you can find us in the in the fan dub. Um, and go watch it and support it because Demo and a lot of other people worked very hard on it. Yes, Batuke Anda, shout, shout out to Batuke Anda who has been. Who has been harassing me in my DMs, asking if our <laughs> name is right in the credits? Just absolutely harassing me, but they want to get it right. And that's quality that's assurance, in, dude. That's quality assurance, need. but but Vitukian has been literally harassing me. Like <laughs> I answer too. I I tell her, hey, this is fine, and then boom, Vitukian comes back and is like, what about this? And I'm like, I, it's fine. I don't care. You can call me big dumb dumb Dugan, and it doesn't matter. Like <laughs> you wish you were dumb dumb Dugan. I do. His hat is so cool. <laughs> And his mustache. God, okay, what a his legend. His mustache anyway. actually is, is good. Anyway, thank you guys for listening and watching. Goodbye for now, but not forever. We will be back. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll, see, we'll see you in a bit. Before you know it, dude. Like, honestly. Before you know we're it, about, we'll be back. You know, time's been flying. We'll, we'll be back. Like, you know, you'll blink, and then we'll be back. And you'll be like, I'll oh, end wait. this podcast, and I'll go, wait a minute. It's April 14th already? <laughs> We have to we have to restart doing this podcast. Damn it! Oh no! Anyway, love you all. Jason, hit him with it. May your heart be your guiding key. Thank you.
Now fuck off! Ladies and gentlemen, that was Ansem Report Podcast number 37. The last one for a little bit, but we will be back. Uh, we just want to shout out our patrons who have been supporting us over on patreon.com slash super spaghetti bros. We're awesome people. And uh, so I guess without further ado, Jason, this started. Thanks to famous for nothing. Billy the Kid Lawrence. Corinne Verg. Dr. Lambit. D.P. Grant. SB Cat. Iron Agro. It's your boy, Woody. Lisa S. Mr. Trumpeter 7-Eleven. Sawarls Barkley. Water KH. Zach P. Pokemon Trainer J. Alpo Juice. Panda Love. Frank Verg. Fabio the Iguana. Unholy Dolphin. Fetus. What's up, Carl? JIP 214. Lands of Masters. Regular Pat. YT. Get Roxel. Birdo Jester. Strawberry Mango. Doug. Librarian Gamer. Kyrie's Bro. Afro Roxas. Travis Town Jr. Cheney. Bill Games. Dick Butt 23. And Lost Constance. Thank you guys again so much. Like I said, we will be back very, very soon. Uh, and like I said, hopefully this gives us some time to work on some of this Patreon content so you guys can listen to that too. But anyway, uh, love you guys. We'll see you uh, soon. Bye. Bye.